Kira. Kira. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. It's Sue. And Megan. The Spinebreakers. After Dark. And uh, we read another short story from the Hotter Blood mm. series. <laughs> I thought you were going like, <laughs> <"Arr."> <laughs> there, was hair. there was a floof <clears throat> of hair falling from the sky. So this time we read The Picture of Health by Ray Garton. And in this story, a virginal girl sleeps with a hot rock star yes. and gets invited to come live with him in his mansion mm -hmm. um, and be his, his lady, and shit goes awry. It certainly does. An important thing to note is that, one, the story was first published in 1991, mm -hmm. and two, uh, this girl who was very much um, adamant about how they should use a condom, mm -hmm. um, they did not use a condom. Spoiler he alert. talked her out of it. Was kind of forced himself a little, I would say. Yeah. It was pretty dubious consent yeah. the first time It around. was at least I coercion. Say. Yeah. And he literally says, <laughs> to talk her out of using a condom, he literally says, it's like, it's like taking a shower wearing a raincoat. Yeah, for dudes. If you we want them. skin, don't we, baby? <clears throat> yeah, it was gross. Yeah, pretty nasty. Um, so she has unprotected sex with him, and then uh, while she she goes to live with him, and things are going okay, but he doesn't really seem interested in her as a person. He just, he just wants to fuck her. He just wants to fuck. Um, and then she keeps seeing these people mm -hmm. <clears throat> who are very diseased looking. Yes. Um, Skin is falling off, hair is falling out. Oftentimes they're described as having like lumps mm -hmm. appearing on their skin. Mm -hmm. uh, and they warn her and say, you have, you, have you been tested? Mm -hmm. and, say, and then finally one day several of them appear and explain to her that he ne she needs to go check out what's in this upstairs room that she mm -hmm. was told she's not allowed, no one's allowed in, in his house. Right. And they're like, you need to go to that room. Take a peek. And stop girl. him. You need to stop him. Yeah. They say, one night when he's uh, drunk and high mm -hmm. and passes out, she goes and gets the keys, which, like, if you had a secret room, would you hide the keys in a drawer? No. I would And be get them out in while... In front of the other yeah. person? I'd be a little less careless about my yeah. placement of keys. Yeah. Yeah. So that was one thing about the story. I was like, really, dude? Really, dude? You hide the keys to your secret room in the back of your drawer. So she gets the keys where she Before knows she they goes. are. Right. And she goes in the room and finds this, like, satanic shrine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a, a painting <clears throat> of a diseased man who is mm -hmm. skin and bones, falling apart. Right. And then she sees behind glass this, um, it's a contract, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, signed by this him, his this rock star mm -hmm. Hawk was Hawk. his name, just Hawk. I forgot to mention something. The names. The names. She had. There was a book in the room for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> that the black pages. It was like a, a photo album that had uh, newspaper clippings of the obituaries, and she mm -hmm. recognized these people that had appeared to her. Right. Um, and they all had died from AIDS. Yeah. The way I interpreted it was that this rock star, Hawk, had AIDS mm -hmm. and made a deal with the devil to not get sick by it or die right. from it. But he, if he like infected as many people as right. possible, I guess. Right. So he had to spread the, the AIDS to people. Right. And maybe the devil collected their souls. I don't really know. I don't really know what the really point of that was. Yeah. Um, so she ends up smashing it and like destroying the photo and then Hawk dies. Right. And he looks diseased. Yes. And then she goes home to her mother and it ends with the line, um, it says, but as she held her mother tightly, all Carol, which it spells Carol so C -A -R -Y -L. dumb. C-A-R-Y-L. Why are you like that? What's wrong no. with you? No. <laughs> um, all Carol could say again and again through her tears was positive, positive mama positive so yeah we contemplated not 
talking about this story because it obviously demonstrated a Complete total misunderstanding. Lack of understanding of AIDS. Right. Because right. they, I mean, it depicted these people as like lepers. Like, yeah. I mean, they were described as almost being leprous. Like mm -hmm. they were. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is obviously incorrect, which yeah. is why I mentioned that the story was published in 1991, which I feel like was kind of after, I don't know. It was, I feel like it should have been, like, I think it was around the time where maybe things were starting to change as far mm -hmm. as understanding of AIDS, but like, yeah, even like, I think even in the early 90s, people didn't really have a good grasp. Yeah, we decided to talk, go ahead and talk about it because we thought we could make fun of it. <laughs> I thought it would be a good time. And okay. also uh, kind of maybe have a little discussion about the AIDS epidemic and how misunderstood it was. Yeah, and in the story, the hawk is apparently bisexual or something. Right, he sleeps, he sleeps with both men and women. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get my cat to come up here. <laughs> come here! Well, come up here! We're yelling. Do you want me to pick you up? Okay, come here. Oh, she sounds, sounds like pitiful. Screaming. She yells a lot. She's just really loud. Yeah. I don't know. That almost bothered me a little too, just because, you know. It kind of implies that it was because he slept with men. Perhaps. I mean, yeah. that was a huge, obviously, um, during the AIDS e epidemic, it was gay men who kind of, you know, bore the brunt of the, right. the stigma. It was a very poor representation of, of someone with AIDS um, because I mean most people don't even actually die of AIDS no they die <laughs> of you know opportunistic infections yeah but according to this story if you get AIDS you get like boils and turn and just your yeah. hair falls out your skin falls off yeah and you yeah. die and you which die. is totally most, not true right most people die from like pneumonia right and other opportunistic infections mm. I just poured beer right down my boobs. They were thirsty. Other than the um, horrendous, horrendous <laughs> representation of AIDS, um, I actually didn't find, like, there wasn't a whole lot of, of other things to make fun of in it. I didn't think, like, there wasn't, I did mark where he used the word juices again. Again! Um, it says, our juices mixing with nothing in between, because they weren't wearing a condom. Gross. Like, please, if you don't say juices, if anyone watching writes erotica, don't please use don't the use word the word juices. juices. It's so gross. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's gross. Um, yeah, and there wasn't even a lot of sex in the story. Like, there no, was their first the time beginning. was described, and it wasn't even, like, that explicit. Right. Well, the one thing, too, <clears throat> is, like, it was describing it being her first time, and it said, like, after a few moments of stinging, it felt really good. And I think that there is a huge misconception about women losing their virginity right. or having sex for the first time. It doesn't have to hurt. Yeah, mine didn't hurt. Mine didn't hurt either. Of course, the person I had sex with had a micro <laughs> Yeah, the person I first had sex with did not. He was actually quite, I mean, well endowed, but like it didn't hurt because we took the time to like work up to it and I was very into it, like I was ready for it. Like it, right. it doesn't have to hurt. Yeah. is the thing like but I think that as women we're conditioned to believe like oh yeah your first time always hurts mm -hmm. no it doesn't no it doesn't it, it doesn't it, have to. it might but it doesn't always but it doesn't always have to <clears throat> oh and I also marked this part because I just thought it was poorly done like it just didn't work in um, written form uh -huh. I didn't think but it's where she's like hearing voices, the voices right. of oh, the people. Right. And it's like they're supposed to, I think, be coming from all around. And it's like, have you? He wouldn't use been tested a condom. <laughs> it yeah. just was stupid to read. It was, yeah, it was yeah. silly to read. And then the other thing that I didn't like was, um, I feel like we always just tear these stories apart. This one I feel like deserves to be torn apart. Love it. Love it. Um, but the other thing I didn't like was that Carol often stuttered when she was like nervous and talking and that was just not done well either. No. It was like, it was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, good. No. No. Yeah. And she did that often throughout the story when she was nervous, nervous or whatever. Oh, and <laughs> romantic. Yeah. And then I marked this where he's, Ugh. he leaves a note on her pillow and <laughs> says, see you tonight, babe. Think dirty thoughts and have your legs spread when I get home. We'll fuck till our gums recede. <laughs> what does 
that even mean? <laughs> yeah, so I thought that was pretty romantic. That's super mm -hmm. romantic. Well, I will say the one thing the story does right, I think, is encourages people to use have protection. To use protection. Or your skin will fall off. <laughs> so use a condom or mm -hmm. your skin will fall off and you'll die. Yeah. And you'll see dead people and it'll be a bad deal. You use, use a condom. Right. Unless you have a contract with Satan. Right. That's Which the other birth control. <laughs> contracts with Satan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's less talk. It's crossed about. my mind. <laughs> Or we can maybe we can get our demon lover. Oh yeah, yeah. Totes. Mm. See, the demon lover thing, I feel like was much better than this guy. Oh yeah, because the demon lover that was loved a her. much better deal. Yeah, because he loved this girl. Yeah, he was gonna take her home to his family. To his family in hell. Yeah. Shh, give me that demon Sounds lover. Great. I'll take that snake <laughs> penis. So that was um, the borderline offensive, <laughs> uh, pretty much offensive. Yeah. Quite uh, offensive. The picture of health. By Roy By Garden. Ray Ray Garden. Ray Garden. Sorry, I, I called you Roy, but I'm not that sorry. Ray. Story if you're still alive, do some research. Do some research <laughs> about AIDS, bud. Let us know if you've read this for some reason. Um, if you have any suggestions for stories yeah, you want us, us to read, erotic horror stories you want us to read on After Dark, let us know because right now we're just pretty much working off this book. Pretty much, yeah. So it, if you write erotic horror stories, oh, yeah. you know, send us one. Maybe they might not want to because we just, we kinda rip we just, rip, just don't use the words rip juices them and we'll be fine, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Come again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could, I could not laugh at that.